since I had so much pumpkin puree left from my last video, I thought that I would try to make pumpkin pie. And this pumpkin pie is going to be gluten free, uh, vegan, sugar free, at least no refined sugars. And it's also going to be low food map. So, let's get cracking. First, you're going to measure out the ingredients for the crust. So the first thing is one and a quarter cups of gluten-free gluten -free flour and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to take six tablespoons of cold vegan or milk-free butter and pop it in like so and then we're going to whisk this together gently so we don't over whisk it but we combine it I think we're going to say that that's enough for now I'm going to try to combine it with a fork instead just so so it's mixed and not full of battery lumps so I think this is about right so now the recipe says to take six tablespoons of ice cold water and mix it in just a little at a time so we're going to take two and mix it with a wooden spoon another two tablespoons of ice cold water and then the last two one and two okay so I think I think that's okay now so I just put the dough in the refrigerator and now it's going to stay there for about half an hour 30 minutes and it can stay there up to two days no two days <laughs> dough has been in the refrigerator for about two and a half hours now and I'm going to take it out I've actually never made a pie before so this is going to be a oh no I got a square one of these oh no I made my dough into a circle and was going to be square all right so this so the dough is going to go here and warm up a little bit <clears throat> now we're going to Preheat our oven to about 175 degrees Celsius. 175. And that's 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're going to make the filling. These are the ingredients you're going to need for the filling. You're going to need a pumpkin puree. This is leftover pumpkin puree that I made a couple of days ago for my pumpkin spice latte. Pure maple syrup, cornstarch, melted coconut oil, coconut sugar, some salt, unsweetened soy milk, and for the pumpkin spices, you're going to need cinnamon, ginger, cloves, and nutmeg. Okay, so then we're just going to mix all the ingredients, and I'm going to use one of these I'm just going to use one of these hand mixers first you're going to take two and three quarters of pumpkin pumpkin puree then we're going to take one fourth of a cup of pure maple syrup One fourth cup of maple syrup and two 
So in this pie, I'm using maple syrup and coconut sugar, and both of and both of them are low in food map and low in refined sugars. So they're better for you than refined sugars. Then we're going to take equally as much of coconut sugar, a fourth of a cup. Then we're going to take one third of a cup of unsweetened soy milk. We need to open another one. And when you're using soy milk, make sure that you shake it well. Oh my god! And please make sure that the lid is secure before you shake it. You don't spill milk everywhere like I did. Oh, this is bad. Let's see. I'm such a mess. Such a hot mess. Alright. So, I just melted some coconut oil in this cup and I'm going to take one tablespoon of melted coconut oil. Then we're going to take two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. Cornstarch. Yeah. Then we're going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and I'm using Himalayan salt. So now in this bowl, I'm going to mix in some of the spices. And I don't really know how much to use of the different kinds, so just going to wing it. So I'm putting in some cinnamon, some ground ginger, some nutmeg, and then I have cloves, but I just realized that I don't have grounded cloves, I only have these. Ugh, like so. But I only have these whole gloves so I'm going to try to ground them myself in my my smoothie blender let's see how this one goes right. that actually kind of worked here you have my pumpkin spices I'm going to take one and three quarters a teaspoon of my pumpkin spices <clears throat> no never mind I'm going to take two teaspoons of the spices so I'm just making sure that these are mixed this is what the mixture looks like right now so all that remains now is to whisk it all up together now the recipe says to put your dough between two pieces of wax paper, but I don't have wax paper, so I'm going to attempt at using aluminum foil. So I'm going to take it out of the plastic. So I actually don't have a rolling pin either. So oh, I don't know what to do. So I'm going to attempt at using this one as a rolling pin. So my pie pan is actually a square one. So I'm just going to try to attempt at making a pie dough this size. Oh my god. Okay, so now you can see. So I'm just going to try to... Oh, this is failing so much. I can't be bothered to try anymore. So I'm going to take off the top, take off the top layer. A layer of the foil. Here's my tin. And now we're going to attempt a Putting this one over. Oh 
I'm just going to try and pull it out to the sides. Oh, now I'm going to attempt at removing this foil as well. So since this is gluten free, it's a bit sticky, so I'm just taking a cup of water so that I can try to remove it without ruining the pie too much. Okay. So this didn't go as planned at all. God damn it! So there's loads of pipe stuck to my tin foil, aluminum foil. So with some more water on my hands, I'm going to try and scrape off the remaining dough. This kind of looks like a disaster right now. But with some more water on my hands, I'm going to try and push it out to the sides and push it up the edge. So if you can't tell, I've never made a pie before. This is the best I could do. So yeah, now we're going to pour in the pipe filling. Oop, delicious. Make sure it's even. So all that's left is putting the pie in the oven for about 58 to 65 minutes. Here it goes. So this is my finished pie. It's still a bit warm so as you can see all my whipped cream is melting. Let's take a test. Mmm. Mmm. This actually turned out mm. really good. So this is what it looks like all cooled down. Okay. Ooh, that's crispy. Mmm. -hmm. 